like about search and rescue is that it's pretty much black and white. You know that you're doing something good for someone else, and there's not a lot of gray area to that. It's quite clear what the mission is, uh, and I really enjoy that about search and rescue. I, I really do enjoy it. Um, it feels good to be able to try to help people you know, when they're in need. I think what we do is very fun, to be honest. Um, I know it can be like, scary at times. It's definitely dangerous and inherently risky, um, but we, we train for that and we mitigate that with our, with our training and our, and our practices. Um, yeah, we'll go expose ourselves to risk. I'll go um, do an instrument departure out of here, go offshore, and then shoot back down through the fog at night, break out 100 feet over the water on night vision goggles, go hoist in 14 foot seas, pull people out and go reverse that whole process. That is exposing us to quite a bit of risk, but we're also trained to do that. And what I just described is what we train to do every single night of the week. We have you know, required semi-annual minimums, we're very good about holding ourselves to a standard, but we're, we're driven to train to that level because we operate to that level all the time. Freefall, it's one that gets most attention because someone's jumping out of a helicopter, uh, but it's pretty safe. The, the pilots will lower us down, bring the helicopter down to uh, about 15 feet, sometimes a little bit lower, but no higher than 15. And then we'll get three taps uh, from the flight mech, letting us know that we're at a good height. And then we'll just, we'll kind of take a quick scan, make sure nothing's beneath us. And then we just kind of hop on out. It's <laughs> the best way to put it. <laughs> a huge population of marinas, people in pleasure craft and sailboats. Um, that runs the gambit for making mistakes as a mariner to weather that is just not forecasted and puts people into extremists that they just weren't expecting. So it's a very large variety, which I personally really like about being stationed here because uh, you're never gonna get bored in San Francisco during search and rescue. Um, so to me, search and rescue is a very personal thing in that it is the biggest moment of someone's life. And if you can give them hope that they might be able to go home to see their loved ones, that to be able to at least provide that hope is worth all this effort. And if we have a great day and everything works out and, um, Mother Nature allows it, then we will bring them home. Being able to do the dif different trainings that we do, um, hopping and jumping in the water, but I mean, just making a difference in people's lives. Like that's, I think the main thing and everything else is just bonus that we get to do this awesome job, but being there for people, helping them, uh, you know, when they're at their worst, trying to make their day a little bit better. Hey, flying helicopters is awesome. That's the other part. It's just plain awesome. It's fun, it's dynamic. It, is uh, it's high paced. It's got just an amount of stress to keep you really organized and uh, if, uh, you have to be efficient and effective with your movements. I like that part about it. I like working with other people that are like-minded and they uh, believe in the mission and they're willing to train hard for that mission. They're willing to accept some risk, but they're smart about the risk that they're accepting. I enjoy that part of it. There's, uh, it's problem solving in its finest and you're asking a group of people to problem solve together to help somebody. I can't think of a better way to spend a 20, in this case, 23 year career 